Subscribe to Rajshree Food and click on the bell icon for more updates. As kids, we've all had tutti frutti in breads, cookies, and ice creams. Today, I'm going to show you how to make this from scratch without any preservatives at home. Let's get started. I'm sure all of you will be shocked to know that tutti frutti is actually made using raw papaya. So I have a small raw papaya here. This is about half a kg of raw papaya. We're going to peel it and cut it into small pieces. But before that, I'm going to start boiling water in a pot. This is about one liter of water. Let's start peeling this now. So when you're buying your raw papaya, make sure that it is completely green from outside so that inside also you have a nice white surface. Switch over to a smaller knife to peel the papaya in case your peeler doesn't reach the inner ridges. Now we'll cut the papaya in halves and then in quarters and then peel half this again. Now using a small knife, we'll also take out a thin layer of the inside. Let's chop our papayas now. I'm going to show you one slice. We're going to cut this into three portions, three long strips. And then we're going to cut these long strips into three more strips. Then cut these strips into half again. Turn it around and chop it into small cubes. Our water has started to boil and our papayas are also chopped. Let's add it to our pot now. We'll let this boil for about 10 minutes till the papaya goes a little translucent. So the papaya has been boiling for around 10 minutes. It has gone translucent now. I'm going to switch off the flame and drain off all the excess water. So you can just leave the papaya aside and you start making the sugar syrup. This is 500 ml of water. That is about 2 cups. And 1 and 1 fourth cup of sugar. And let the sugar syrup come to a boil. The sugar syrup has been boiling for 1 minute. Now we are going to add the drained papayas into the sugar syrup. Stir it once. And cook this for 10 minutes. The papaya will go completely transparent at that stage. So the papaya has been boiling in sugar syrup for around 10 minutes. I am going to switch off the flame. The raw papaya has gone completely transparent. After switching off the flame, I'm going to add an essence. Now you can use any essence that you like. You can use vanilla, strawberry or anything of your choice. If you want to color each one of them according to a different flavor, you can also do that. But right now, I'm just going to add a few drops of pineapple essence. About 4 to 5 drops should be enough. Give it a mix and divide it into three different bowls. Now, if you don't have a heat proof bowl, you should wait for this to cool down a little so that your bowl doesn't crack. Now, you can use any kind of colors that you like, red, pink, green, yellow, whatever is your choice. I'm using orange and yellow. And the third bowl, I'm just going to leave it plain so that you have a nice contrast of orange, yellow, and white. So we'll add about two drops of food color in each bowl. Let's go in with the orange first. Now let's add yellow. We let the papaya soak in sugar syrup and color overnight. What will happen is your papaya will be colored very nicely and brightly and you'll have a good result. You can use this homemade tutti frutti to make a lot of things like breads, ice creams, cookies and whatnot. When you try it out, let me know in the comment section below about your experience. Like this video and subscribe to Rajshree Food for more such recipes. See you next time.